I just got all my six blades. Um, short-ish sort of video today because I've got a couple of people who um, with messages back and forth. I've sort not really taken under my wing, but I'm, I'm open to giving them a few tips um, for lever making. Um, now, one, one of the things I'd always like to put out there is try not to make yourself a carbon copy okay you know cover band works very good but it's far better when you start writing your own songs um, so Sheridan style is great don't be a knockoff of Robert Radcliffe is what I'm saying okay you do the style but don't rip somebody off um, when it when it comes to the creation of, of your level work make sure it's it's yours um, and use the techniques and the skills and the ideas um, in order to express yourself your own way in your level work. And that's one of the biggest things I've always tried to put across. You know, if you get in a design off the internet, adapt it. Don't just use a free share um, image. Um, if you're going to do a rabbit, you know. You, 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 See if, see if you can actually change the position of it so it looks a slightly different way or you, you've got a different pose on it use it as a guide um, embellish it create something new from it just use it as a as a route map um, and, and, and these little ideas I was just imparting onto the, these couple of guys that I'm giving not really one to one coaching but they're open to suggestions and they're really appreciative so um, you know okay I'll, Give give free ideas, um, but one thing it was it's getting quite difficult to talk about as opposed to um, demonstrate is when you use the grooving tool. One thing I'm really getting hot on. I've always believed in it, and even now I'm I'm grazing the game again. Um, is when you put your initial groove on your sheaf. If you, if you cut your sheaf out and then you run this tool along like that and you put your groove in in order that your stitching sits beneath the level of the lever so that it's protected and it doesn't catch on brambles and stone walls and things um, there are some people who don't do a groove and, and allow the stitches to because the new um, artificial thread is pretty damn tough. Uh, it's it's just a nice touch to have it sat below the level of the, the lever, that it won't get caught and picked off and get dirt rubbed in it or whatever. And it's it's nice and you can pack wax in. Um, it's it's just another little tweak that you can do as a lever worker, just to make sure that your, your sheath lasts sixty years, maybe instead of twenty five. All right that the stitching will never really get the wear and tear and the scuffing and you use the grooving tool to put it in well grooving is one thing but to get the groove even, neat swooping curves, murder straight straight, okay good transitions when you, you, you turn 90 degrees and move across the top where the sheath comes up and up to where the, the belt loop carries on and you're up and over and all the turns is, is is a hand skill you got to get better at but before that even happens if you haven't cut that lever as good as you can that's only going to follow the contours of the lever you've cut well or not okay so if you have a look at this I'm about to do the grooving on this piece of lever for a equal merlin available soon Okay, now, unless that is a beautiful arc, and unless that is straight as you can possibly make it, you're wasting your time, because that's going to follow exactly the contours of what that is. So that's cut with a ruler, steel ruler, and even as you're cutting with a knife, you're cutting like a machine. You're not cutting, okay, um, and making the edge like that, because if the, if it's like this, 
you can deform the top of the lever as you're tracing it down with that fence. Alright, you want it murder straight on the straights and 90 degree shoulders. And when you come to doing curves, you could use um, curved chisels on these points here to get that nice and even. It's like uh, around shoulder chisels. Um, but when you get to this, go on a bell sand or something. You know, make that gorgeous swoop there. That curve, that ball nose, as even as you can possibly do it. I just used, I cut up some 36 old belts when they're worn out and you can see the fluffy edges, see the fluffy edges there, I've literally, give it, give it two or three minutes and get it as good as you possibly can and look at it so it looks correct because if you've got it like that, can you see how I've purposely all right, cut it in steps? So I've gone like that, like that, like that, and, and trolled out the corner, the curve on that one. So now I'll groove this one, and hopefully on camera I can do a good job, and then I'll groove that one, and you should see the actual groove tool follow the contours of the edge of the sheath, and then you'll end up with a far better groove on your lever work. Because once you've grooved it, the, the stitching will follow a reasonable line. And you can, you can sort of fudge it. But there's a lot of times when I've noticed she's a lever where the grooving tool has um, followed whatever was cut. Okay. And it's, to me, it stands out. Alright, so I might be able to. Can I go like that? Undo. Hey, hey, hey. Look at that. So, there's this. And as you can see, that there's a step there. There's a step there. Step there. And a step there. And then goes out here a bit. So, here's the grooving tool. Now, you wouldn't start right at the edge. You'll be back again because the sheath would run down and then you'd stop and pull it out so you don't go past where the groove would start now you can see that would follow on straight line that would go to about here so that now gives you a stop right now I'll try and make it look even but what will happen is is this will go boom Boom, boom. Now, however good you are with the tool, that does not look as technically pleasing as it could be if I didn't get that edge finished far far better in order to get a smoother outer contour that the poor little grooving tool is trying to follow. It's at the mercy of what the lever is. Now on these I have a centre point which is about there so I'll start mine here because of the fold it would be about there. So there it is. stop back there. See how I turn it myself? I turn the sheath rather than the tool. So rather than trying my arms pulling that way and I'm trying to go around, I pull but I move the sheath around using this hand. That looks better than that. Alright, now another little trick you can do is 
so that that groove at the moment being scuffed and cut out with that is not finished inside the actual edge of the cutter where it's drilled and cut okay there's the hole there's a polished front on it where it was ground to give an edge there what you can do is put it back in the groove and run it that way the wrong way and polish the inside of the groove with that front edge and you can actually see the nap of the lever change so that's been pressed down it gets to that and it's all raw because it's been cut whereas that's been laid down flat and again when I get to the corner I'm turning the sheaf Now it's all laid down neat inside the groove and then you carry on and go around but if you're cutting your sheaf out and you're cutting your sheaf out in steps you can only get a step to groove and it looks step spend five more minutes if the edge is going to be straight use something straight few quid on Amazon, 500 mil, stainless steel. When you use it, think about where your fingers are going to be, so you don't cut your fingers if it slips, and just run a standing knife along it. There's other craft tools you can use, but a straight edge and a standing knife will get a straight edge. Alright, when it comes to that, get better at cutting. There's other lever tools with hook blades, or you can use a, a round knife or a proper lever. Um, it looks like a sickle looking thing. You can use other tools other than the standing knife if you struggle with the stand knife. But unless you get that corner, that's going to follow it. So that's my sort of tip. It's very, very difficult in order. It would have took as long trying to type it out, I think, as demonstrating it. And while I'm at it, let's just share a little, one little aspect of get it right. At the right stage, what's explains rationale of lever making. All right, we're getting to um, my mindset on other vids as to why I think like this. Okay, thanks for joining me again. Everybody's interested and in, just come across my channel, I'm a newbie, as it were. Um, obviously, click the subscribe channel on the bell, and you'll see other little tips and tricks like this. Thanks for joining me. Scott, what's explains.